and the gentleman this time, I'd like to call this meeting of the Cleveland County Board of Commissioners for Of course, as always, with our meetings, our first order of business is to have our prayer and to have our pledge of allegiance. And on his second meeting night, it's going to be my pleasure to call up Jeff Richardson to lead us in the pledge and also to have our prayer. Stand. First flag. States Marine Corps from 1977 to 1980. Marine Corps? Marine Corps. I'm going to jar here. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a gift to me. Well, I don't know what that is. <laughs> On NCIS Gunny. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> does it have that? I ain't got no <laughs> <laughs> uh, Thank you for being here with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your service also. Uh, department heads, if you just stand to be ready. Chris Gray, Tax Administrator. Dorothy O'Hyatt, Health Director. And you don't depart from anything? Sam Waters. I'll be um, remiss if I did not ask Ms. Paul to recognize this year. I'm honored to bring my son with me tonight to the meeting. I, you know, I'm my third year now at, uh, as a county commissioner. It's the first time he's been to one of our commissioner meetings. So, it was either this or go with the sister to a, another boring meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I know you got punished one way or the other. You want to come up here and sit and have to sit with us? Oh, we have our
this evening uh, for chapter 3, uh, section 1. The purpose of this code amendment is to give the animal control officers the power to investigate animal cruelty cases, and that would be to line up the necessary verbiage in the North Carolina General Statutes with our local ordinances. And that's important that we keep that current, and certainly uh, we hope that, that helps us in any kind of uh, litigated manner. Next we have item D, the detention center. Uh, I've got several budget amendments that I'd like to cover with you this evening. The first is at the detention center budget amendment. And for your consideration, we would like to amend the budget to receive uh, SSA funds that would come into the uh, detention center sheriff's office. And this would be used for awards and recognitions of officers for officers. Next I have the budget amendment in the health department. The first one is uh, to receive additional NCCI grant funds uh, that will allow us to align the existing budget with the approved grant amount. The next health department budget amendment item G would uh, be for us to budget the HHS summer food program funds for expenses associated with inspection of food service facilities. The next item H is in social services budget amendment uh, for child welfare state and home funds, and that would help to offset the previous loss of another fund source that is earmarked for salaries. And then finally this evening, also in social services, item I, a budget amendment in DSS TAC, and that would be to budget uh, necessary DOT grants or a OP funding. That concludes all the budget amendments. We have to answer any questions that you have this evening. I do have one item that the Commission Chair added, item J. And this would be, uh, Commissioner, let me remind you that some time ago we passed a resolution where uh, you asked the Board of Transportation and would like to approve an honorary designation of US 74. That's a one tenth of a mile stretch uh, off of Lattimore Road in Cleveland County. And the Board of Transportation has approved this honorary designation uh, for uh, Ms. Debbie Clary. And now we have been asked by DOT to share in funding in the amount of $500. And that would go directly to uh, directly the signs necessary for that stretch of road. And I would ask the city if they could also give you permission to uh, execute on that. That concludes consent. I have to answer any questions.
share with um, the county and Chamber of Commerce and everybody so that we can get this out there. Um, and I would be remiss in not to call y'all out and you know that y'all didn't come to our premiere except for Jason. So um, y'all were all invited. So I appreciate Jason coming and uh, coming well, to the premiere. Well, in, in their defense, we had two or three other meetings at the same time that night. So, but I enjoyed the I enjoyed the premiere. Um, seeing all three of the videos and also the, the people that were in the videos a lot of them were in the room with us. Yeah. Um, and that was a that was a great event. So, so I'll turn it over to let you show it.
we can use, that we can take and train our youth, we can teach our youth and inexperienced adults that know nothing about weapons, the safety factor, how to use it and provide a place that they can go and enjoy the sport. Okay, this can be an economic development draw also because in building the range, we've got to maintain it, we've got to maintain the personnel on it. And doing so, we will put together about a five-man committee, it will be an advisory committee, basically report to Sam, Sam reports to the end manager when this thing is done running with Dorothea's approval. Sam still has the responsibility of the landfill, the animal shelter, and so forth. That uh, we sort of catch before we get to do this. And then when they saw the department head stand up, I guess Sam plays halfway up because he will have one department and working for someone else. But anyway, but uh, it, it's been a long go. And it's been a hard one. Sam can tell you we, we've had our ups and downs, we've had our discussions. But this can be a project that's very beneficial to the community, not only with the safety aspects of it, but drawing economic development for the area. So what I'd like to do is, uh, if you want to put up the, the MOU, and we got an MOU with the uh, wildlife, and uh, it sort of spells out some of the things that, uh, that we're looking at and partnering with them to do it. Without them, you want to go ahead and read it here so everybody can have it.
commission for a prorated amount of the improvements to the site based on a 40-year amortization um, term of agreement, which I see a title on, so I'll have to check that. This agreement shall become effective upon full execution and shall continue in effect for a period equal to 40 years. Okay, and basically what it's saying is, uh, paraphrasing what Sam says, they build everything from the ground down on the level of bases, barns, and roads, and so forth. We're responsible for anything that goes up in the infrastructure. What we've asked them to do, they're getting the drawing, and they said this project's such a scope that if they came in themselves to do it, they'd have to pull. Everything they got in the whole state come in here to do it, so what they're looking do is bid it out. And doing so, we've asked him to put the infrastructure in it to have it separated so when we get a bid, we can see what it's going to cost us and the force we will be responsible for. That, uh, Sam, I miss anything? No, uh, I just noted that I was contacted this morning by the guy at the Wildlife Commission. They said they'd have the conceptual drawing by Friday. And then shortly after that, and there'll be price tags put on everything. And then they told me they, they felt very confident they would be ready to present this to their commission uh, at the end of the month of November to be approved. So we, we get to know exactly what they're going to approve until they get conceptual growing done, the price tag, and then they'll, they'll start saying, we'll do this. And it may, you know, our, our part may change, may not, but uh, so we can only base it on the last draft proposal as far as the agreement. Yeah. But, they're, but they're very, I'll say this in the meetings I've had them, they're very excited about it because they, they're under a mandate to provide this service, not just to the citizens of North Carolina, not just Cleveland County. So they know this will be a huge regional draw, and uh, they're excited that uh, we have, we have already, Turn the corner. We're going to sound studies all the things uh, that we've already done to uh, make this project happen. So they're excited about it. And they want a partner. And they tell us they want this to be the sort of showcase of a partnership with the county and the wildlife commission in this, in this project. So I, I think it's very fortunate. We're fortunate that these guys have come on with us. They brought, a, they bring a lot to the game. I think it would take years for us to achieve this at the rate we were trying to raise money. But with these guys partnering and money that uh, they get to sell to federal ammo and stuff like that, it's just it's just a natural thing. And we're just fortunate we were already uh, in front of the curve for them to come and join us. So, I, you know, an ideal five years ago, it's uh, coming close to reality. And that's, yeah, one of the things one of the things that they said that they're really excited about, twenty five percent of their funding comes from sport shooting, I don't know whether it was sport shooting, home defense, things like that. So they put a lot of money into hunting and fishing, so they're looking, so okay, these people deserve something. And uh, that, that's why they look at uh, even the uh, wildlife commission said, Hey, when you guys in Cleveland County build something, you build something else. Standing. They talk about the Grand Center, they talk about the Duke Energy Center, and the other areas that we participated in. So they said, now we've got a chance we can participate with you and make a showcase of something that North Carolina can be proud of. So it, it's a great opportunity. So I'll open up for questions from the commission. Uh, Johnny, I, I, I'm hearing you correct.
exceptional drawing. If we agree with the, the drawing that's going to come at the end of the week, because we, we may want to tweak it again, not, not sure. Uh, don't want to tweak their work too much because they're, they're, they're driving the bus. And uh, the second thing is, when they, they will send us another uh, draft of a agreement. And so there will be negotiations there at that point. Because they're not going to take they're not going to take an agreement to their commission without us already saying, hey, let's roll. If we say let's roll, they're going to, they're going to send us their, their folks, their commission, and then of course, if it's changed, then we'll be sitting right back here and asking for you to approve the the, uh, the agreements that they have already agreed to do. Also, before you, before you vote, I don't know. No, no, I just asked the question. Okay, go ahead. I think we'll ask Quite some time. I know Johnny's been keeping us up to date as far as the meetings with the wildlife that he's had in uh, Sam as well. So, I don't have any questions, Johnny? I feel very comfortable supporting them because I believe that we want to value our community, folks that look down the community, and training and educating and bringing some resources. say too, uh, I really appreciate uh, all the work, Commissioner Hutchins, you put into this, and also uh, Sam and Dorothea, y'all have been uh, awesome uh, as far as uh, uh, keeping on this and, and keeping it in front of us, uh, letting us kind of know what's, what, what the, the direction you're headed with, it, uh, and providing the connection with the wildlife people, uh, and that was just networking, and uh, I think the, the, the times y'all have been involved with uh, different shooting matches and 
going out and looking at the different ranges and really paid off for the citizens of Clinton County. So I appreciate what you've done. Thank you. I'm going to make one last comment. So I've got some more comments over there. I, I mean, i got one for you guys. Okay, go for it. This thing's complete, which I'm sure it will be in the near future. You and Willie will have to put up a shut up again and who's going to be the best shot. Who <laughs> feel that key? We don't. We don't have to wait for this. Step <laughs> 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 right there. That's right. We'll let him know next time we go and he gets a call with us, Ken. That's right. He can go. What do you do? We're going to put up or shut up. <laughs> I'll tell you the story. Well, the wheel's got a show. <laughs> the wheel's got a show. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, John. I appreciate Thank you. the presentation. And uh, we're going to move forward with one of the best uh, gun ranges in uh, North Carolina or any other state. We're going to have a lot of good events. All of our adults. Uh, okay. I think the gen I just finished the course. We're going to start with the table. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Number six. Um, this week I had an opportunity with Jason to, and um, he came on a full picture of it. I'll let Jason really talk on it. But a group from um, Minnesota came through. It's a club that goes around the different different counties around the country, visiting the counties to learn more about the county and actually spend spend some time in the county. Jason did an excellent job of talking about what we have here. Um, offer our, our community and I really just like Jason to talk about a little bit and I just really thoroughly enjoyed having this, these people here and what they did and while they were here staying in the community to get actually homes. Well it was a it was definitely a joint joint venture you and I both tag things on it and I appreciate all your help on it as well. It was very enjoyable. Uh, very enjoyable. They they spent probably the thirty or forty five minutes in the commissioner's chambers. Learned a lot about Cleveland County and about our government. Well, 
but the threat of not having money may have extended any new applicants. With the 40 new applicants, it would take $12,500, about $12,000 a month additional to provide meals. Several things. I'll do them quick. So I know everybody's ready to go home. Um, going along the same lines, uh, Johnny just mentioned about the the federal partial shutdown. Uh, first off, I want to thank uh, uh, Jeff uh, for hosting an event with DSS and with the health department, uh, basically with the staff there, uh, to talk about the, how those the partial shutdown is going to affect the citizens of Cleveland County. Um, it's a very important meeting, and I think uh, we're ahead of the game because of because of all your work on there. So, Mr. County Manager, thank you so much for doing that. Uh, one note uh, on uh, the federal shut or the federal partial shutdown. Um, I found out today that uh, at the Public Security Commission uh, that if they don't uh, 
resolve their issues in Washington, D.C. by November 1st, uh, we'll permanently lose our bed rep that we have there uh, working with veterans. So that's something that uh, uh, be in prayer for and, and uh, hope they get this thing resolved in D.C. Um, library board, uh, I was honored to be asked to, uh, to uh, be at the uh, Boyle Springs Library Open House. Um, Commissioner Allen was there with me as well on that. And uh, uh, got to read a children's book. Um, got the name of it. Uh, but it was like, uh, it was quite, quite, quite done, I think. Uh, it was made a very good book. So, uh, a lot of great kids there. If you haven't had a chance to go to the uh, to the Walton Springs Library, I'd encourage you to do that. It's, it's a growing library. They need donations. Um, they just received a grant to buy 61 new books. And that's a big deal for them. So, um, if, if you have a chance. Veterans Committee, um, we met earlier today um, and finalized plans for the November the 11th. Um, event, that's the Veterans Day um, ceremony. It's going to be at, the, be at Fort Square at 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, be honored if y'all can make it uh, to that as well. Um, should be a great event. Um, and the last thing I want to share, um, I was talking with uh, Nancy with the uh, ECA, the uh, Extension and Community Association. Um, that's the Cooperative Extension. Um, the, the pig that's up here, um, its name is Sir Cleve Ambassador. And what they're doing is they're raising money for the, at, at the state level. And they've sent these ceramic pigs to all the different uh, uh, counties. Um, and they, they decorate the pigs up with local um, symbols, uh, however they want to decorate it up. That one's got a lot of uh, good information about our county on it. And uh, they've named our Sir, Sir Cleve Ambassador. And uh, they'll take that money on uh, September 26th and 27th after Raleigh. Uh, and uh, it goes into a, uh, uh, if I remember right, a scholarship program. Uh, and then they auction off that fig. And uh, our representatives from the ECA desperately want to get that fig back to Cleveland County. They don't want to end up somewhere else. So uh, I've, I've committed to go um, on September 27th. Uh, and be with the uh, uh, men and women with ECA. And I know it's open if anybody else is working. I know we have meetings all the time, so if you can't work in your schedule, I know they appreciate it. One of the ladies wrote a point, uh, Jean Ann Brevet, uh, Brevet wrote a point, and I want to read it real quick. And uh, appreciate your notice on this. It's Sir Cleve Ambassador. It says, I'm just a little hungry pig. I wish I could dance you a jig. I don't want to be a bore. Just put some coins into my pack. And I won't ask for more. I'm here to help ECA celebrate 100 years today. I will represent our county in Raleigh this fall. Between now and then, let's have a ball. Feed me, please. So if you have some loose change, if you want to stick it in there, I know they would really appreciate that. And uh, we'll get that back to them tomorrow so they can continue on their fundraising. That's all I think. Um, Jason, I heard you say one thing that